This is the Red Baron, and this is the MobaFire.com Take Your Best Shot tournament where 64 teams competed, and the actual winner of this tournament is going to match up against CounterLogic Gaming. In this semi-final matchup between you Madbro and Untrollable, we see lots of early aggression by you Madbro, though the game would happen to be back and forth the entire way. I don't think that York is going to have any trouble with these three guys. In fact, he's just chasing 1v3 and having no problem. Oh, if that biting would have hit, that would have been nasty. Yeah, I think they might be able to pick up the Ramus, but uh, oh, Grand is going down, potentially going to pick up this uh, Yorick kill. He's taking Ramis. some tower damage. He is going to heal and get out of there. And then Trundle is chasing wow. after. After narrowly escaping with a Game 1 victory, Yu Madbro comes right out in Game 2 with very aggressive early game. Lots of disables, able to pick up tons of kills, particularly on Kog'Maw. And it was really Kog'Maw versus the world. But you could see when Untrollable was able to protect their Kog'Maw, they would easily come out ahead on fights. So Yu Madbro had to resort to some Baron steals, some backdooring, and some really tricky gameplay in order to pick up the win in Game 2. They Very they close will, to Baron. There so is. there's the there's ward. The teleport, and the teleport. Here comes Gallo. He's going to do his ultimate. They're going to catch a lot of people into this. And the is going to try to engage before he does and make it happen. But nice little ulti. Look at Arknight. Already low HP. That Kog'Maw really, really low. And Morgana goes down. Ash actually picks off the Janna. And this is a great fight for you, Mad Bro. Uh, down goes Kog'Maw. And uh, the fight is won. So they will be able to pick up this Baron. And I think the game's going to be over after this. The next semi-final matchup between Team Curse and Wish was really a battle of heroes as Curse exerted their dominance. Right off the bat, we saw Udyr with some really aggressive ganks running a double Doran's Riggles Tiger Udyr for some fantastic damage. After a dominant showing in Game 1, Game 2 would start off much as the previous one had with some really aggressive Udyr ganks and that double Doran's Tiger Udyr. But the real storyline here is Nijaki's Vigar, who went an astounding 12-0 against Team Wish. With the combination of the Event Horizon into the Dark Matter, they really had no answer for his damage and disables, and he would just storm around, setting up a fantastic Grand Finals between Team U Madbro and Team Curse. U Madbro having the aggressive early game, and then Curse with the dominant leak. In game number one of the matchup, it seemed early on that Trindamir would snowball out of control as Trindamir and Nocturne were able to bait Nasus into a couple of successful ganks thanks to their fantastic damage output and disables. Unfortunately, that early success resulted in a little bit of over-aggression as Umadbro responded with fantastic team coordination as well as the combined ultimates of Skarner and Gragas to pick up early kills. They would continue this through the mid-game using the fantastic initiation capabilities of Gragas as well as the single target disable from Skarner to pick up a number of kills, though Curse would eventually respond with just great team coordination and fantastic damage to pick up game number one. Dancer. And they are actually trying to engage. Nocturne throws off the ultimate, and this is really their only chance for in, uh, engaging is the Nocturne ultimate. But he's going to take a ton of damage, and then Skarner being chased out by Caitlyn is going to go down. They were able to pick up Soraka and Nasus, actually. And here's Nocturne, very close to going down, but Caitlyn able to pick up the Kog'Maw. Um, Nasus, you know, just kind of running around, not able to get in the fight. And Caitlyn going to pick up this Gragas as well. Game number two was a completely different story, as Trindamir came off to a very early lead, and Yu Madbro really had no response for their aggression. And as a result, Trindamir would pick up kill after kill after kill, getting super fed and resulting in some fantastic fights later in the game for Team Curse. Congratulations to Curse for winning MobaFire.com's Take Your Best Shot tournament, and I hope everyone tunes in for the final bonus match, Curse vs. CLG, this upcoming Friday. Taking it now. Going to push down a second, basically uncontested inhibitor. Zillion trying to pick up a kill onto Yorick, is able to get the kill. Morgana almost picking up a couple of kills here. Sona does have Zillion's ultimate. And then Nocturne ulting on top of Zillion. They are oh. going to be able to pick up the kill on the Zillion. And then also, oh, that's fair. though now comes Trindamir. Trindamir, you know, with a vengeance, going to be picking up some kills. He does flash after Morgana, but Morgana flashes as well. And Trindamir is going to be able to pick up the kill onto Morgana. Uh, Alistair okay. actually head Hero him. mode. Yeah. Now he's going to pick up the kill on Graves as well. That's a triple kill. Quadra kill, <laughs> actually. Oh, man. Once again, thanks to everyone for tuning in. And thank you to Colby Cheese and Dyrus for a fantastic job. Great fun casting alongside you, as well as a thank you to the sponsors for making this tournament possible.